Hello my loves and welcome back to part three of my declutter. Today we are tackling possibly the hardest category, this is blush. As you can see, this drawer is very full and behind me I have a huge pile of other stuff as well. So without further ado, we're gonna get straight into it because I don't want this to be a million years long. So I think I'm gonna start with the stuff from the pile just to make it a little bit easier for myself. First up, we've got the Pixie on the Blush Glow. I'm going to keep this one. It's a really nice kind of pinky blush stick. A great everyday kind of product. We've got one of the e.l.f. Um, monochromatic multi sticks. This is Glimmer and Guava. This looks like this. This is again very, very pretty. So I'm going to keep that one. I really love these Clever FX blush duos. This one is Spice Cinnamon. You don't get as much use out of this one as the other one I've got, um, but I am going to keep it. I feel like this one's going to be harder for me to throw stuff away as well. I've got Jordana T-shirt blush in Prom Queen. To be honest, I don't think I've ever used this. Um, I got it in a mystery box, and they actually don't sell these anymore, so we're going to pass this one on to somebody else. Then we've got my favourite neutral blush in the world. This is KVD Foxglove. If I have got like quite a dramatic eye look on and I don't want to do a lot of blush, this one is perfect for that. So we're going to keep that one. This is an XX Revolution blush and lip tint in the shade Wave. I think I've only used this one once, so I'm going to pass this one on to somebody else. Just double checking, yeah, but it's still nice and creamy. It's just a very, very light peach shade, which I'm probably not going to use. So that will get some more use somewhere else. Okay, um, Pink Honey and Cariad Pink Popsicle Paint in Hot Pink. This one is staying. I've got the Huda. This is the blush stick in... Coral Cutie, which I definitely just dropped, but we are going to keep that one too. This one is Charlotte Tilbury, Love is the Drug. That one is going to stay. These look so much like nipples, it's ridiculous, but this blush is a really beautiful colour. This one, again, is going to stay. It is Strawberry Drip from Fenty. It's one of their little cream blushes. I love that one. I really like the formula of those. We've got a Mina 385, the No Rules Stick. This one is a really beautiful kind of autumnal blush colour. So that one can stay. I think I am going to get rid of this one. It's one of the Elf Putty Blushes. It's a very, very dark shade. Um, and one of my best friends is incredibly pale. So I think that will look great on her. But I am going to keep this shade, which is a more kind of orangey peach shade. Unfortunately, these don't have any colours on them, so I can't tell you what colour it is. Um, but if I can sort of work it out, I will leave it in the description. Okay, this is the only Colourpop sh um, sh Super Shock. I wanted to call it Sugar Crush then. Um, blush I have, this is pie, it's a bright pink, so we're keeping that. The KVD gel blush in Dewality. Um, I really, really like these blushes. Um, they're really gorgeous in the summer because they're very dewy and glowy. And then the Say Dew Blush in Rosy. I love, love, love this product, so that's definitely staying. I think a lot of the stuff in the new pile is staying. It's going to be in here. I think we're going to get rid of some stuff. Um, so I've got Cash Beauty Blush Stick in Love Language. That's going to stay. And then I'm also keeping Lancome Blush Stick in Ambitious Pink. Absolutely stunning. Um, I was so shocked by how good they were. 
We're going to keep Berry Blossom Babe from Nude Sticks and we're going to keep Robust Rhubarb from Clinique. Gonna get all my other Cliniques and Nude Sticks out the way. So Sweet Peach Peony, um, Body Language and Beach Babe from Nude Sticks are saying so is Amped Up Apple from Clinique. This is definitely not going as well as the foundation one did, but we'll see, we'll see. Next up, I've got this beautiful blush from a little UK indie brand. This is BE Cosmetics Invocation, which is really beautiful. So we're gonna keep that because you know I love supporting my small indie brands. We are gonna keep NARS Deep Throat, one of my all time favorite blushes. It's a bit of like a basic B moment, um, but it's beautiful. Um, Craving Cajun from Give Me Glow. These are all repackaged now into far nicer packaging, um, but I love the formula of these, so keeping that one. Actually, I'm gonna pass this one on. It's the Fast Base Blush Stick from Revolution in Raspberry. It's very similar to the Mina. I don't need both. Again, it will look amazing on my pale skinned friend. Right, the three Urban Decay Hydromaniac blushes I own are staying. This is Obsessed. This one is wrecked and this one is dripping. Again, very similar to the KVD. They're really beautiful on the skin when you're doing like a light coverage. MAC Cherry Blossom Collection in HD Cherry True. It's one of the Glow Play blushes, so like the bouncy ones, that's gonna stay. And even if it wasn't, that packaging is beautiful, so I'd probably keep it anyway. Hourglass Spanish Stick in sacred a really beautiful kind of everyday color um mac fleur power i don't even want to think about how long i've had this blush for um and i'm not getting rid of it because it's gorgeous and i still wear it regularly um it's one of my favorite kind of again neutral kind of everyday blush shades we are actually going to chuck this one away it's the max factor miracle touch creamy blush in soft pink i'm going to be honest i don't even know if they make these anymore but this has been in my collection for years we've got a nice good dint out of it after i put it in my very failed project pan so i'm going to get rid of that one um just because i don't know how old it is right maybelline cheek heat this is the shade fuchsia spark i think i'm going to keep this shade it's nice to have like a budget kind of blush shade um, but I'm going to pass on nude because I don't really use this one at all so we're going to pass that one along. Um, misguided stop I'm blushing in... Why do these not have the colours on them? I don't know what colour this one is. I'm going to pass this one along because I don't think I've ever used it. I'm going to be honest. Um, this one's pretty new. This is the collection Lip and Cheek Stain in Poppy. So we're going to keep that. I just think that colour is gorgeous. Here is my other little cover effects duo. This one is Mojave Mauve. Um, I use this one all the time. Please ignore my burn. That's from Christmas dinner. Have you cooked Christmas dinner if you don't end up with a gammy finger? That's what I want to know. Um, but we're going to keep this one because it's just beautiful. These cover effects blushes are stunning. I don't actually, can you even get cover effects anymore? Are they even a brand anymore? I don't know, but I love it. So I'm going to keep that. Right. We've got MAC Warm Soul. This is the new version, which is a bit more brown than the original. It's less peachy. Do so really like it, so we are going to keep that one. We are keeping my three Jordana Tisha blush duos. I've got Crazy For You, My Darling, and PDA, which are the three like brighter shades from the first collection. This one's new, I've not tried this one yet. It's from Morphe 2, it's in the shade Dream. I actually got this free when I went into store in the uh, in Manchester Arndale a couple of weeks ago. So I'm gonna keep that one and give it a test. 
I'm going to pass on this XXX liquid blush in rosy. It's really pretty. I just reach for the thing, so we'll pass it on. I've got beautiful neutral cream blush from over here. This is loyal. Um, this is stunning. Um, I feel like nobody ever talks about over cream blushes until I bought one. I didn't even know they did them. So um, I really like that. And I'm going to keep that. This is just the cutest little blush ever. This is Bonnie Dolly. Uh, I can't remember what the shade is. I want to say it's peachy. We're going to keep her. She's just the little, the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life. Right. Um, Unicorn Cosmetics, Bare Face, Bare Tees. We're going to keep this one. It's a beautiful, bright, bright baby pink. I've got a Ciate Dewy Blush in Papaya. This one's really pretty. It's like a glossy one, but I think I'm going to pass it on because I've got plenty of like glossy products. And then I've got a Jouer Blush and Bloom Cote de Provence Cheek and Lip Duo in Fleur de Lis and Milfoy, which is like a double ended blush stick. Look at me keeping the ends on, keeping it all hygienic, but I love that when it's beautiful. Um, Gossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. I love this, but this needs to go in the bin because it's old. Um, MUA Blushed in Taupe Tango. I'm going to pass this one on because I don't use the brown very often. Um, and I'm also going to pass on the B Liquid Blush in Nude. Both very nice liquid blushes, just don't use them because of the colour. I'm going to keep the number 7 Lip and Cheek Tint in Dusk Pink. And I'm going to keep both of these. These are the MUA Blushed in Peach Puff and the Barry M Fresh Face in Peach Glow. These are probably incredibly similar, but I'm going to keep any, both of them either way. So there we go. <laughs> right. Some more powders. MAC. Sweets for my sweet extra dimension blush. This is bold, but I love this blush. It's a beautiful shade. It's like perfect this time of year kind of a burgundy love that one Dior Coral Backstage Rosy Glow we're gonna keep I love this um nobody ever talks about the coral but I think it's gorgeous we've got Huda Glowish in Very Juicy which is that one there and we've got Doll Beauty Pretty Glow in Pink in a View so we're gonna keep all four of those is not going anywhere near as well as the foundation one did right let's do some of the drawer now because i feel like there is going to be stuff in here i want to get rid of Ooh. a little bit of a reshuffle because my legs are going numb right okay juvia's blush duo in volume two i think i'm going to pass this one on not only is it really big and bulky i just don't get that much use out of it these are the Maybelline Dream Matte Blushes. I really like these, but I don't really use this shade, which is Burgundy Flush. So we're going to see if anybody wants that. And we're going to keep Flirty Pink, because um, these are beautiful. Um, next, Sweet Cheeks Matte in Citrine Rose. Nothing to write home about. I think we're going to pass that one on. We're going to keep number seven, Apricot Blossom. This is a beautiful peach. And I'm also going to keep um, Nabla Skin Glazing in Lola. This form, this whole formula is just incredible. Um, George Cosmic Blush in Satin. Um, we're going to get rid of that. I don't use that at all. So we're going to pop that and see if anybody wants it. We're going to keep Pink Gasm Sunset from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to pass on L'Oreal Life's Peach in Peach Addict because, again, I just don't use it. Um, Essence, the blush in Blooming. Can somebody please tell me why I bought that? That is not blush, that's powder. Um, I'm not even going to pass that on because it's just so pale. It 
wouldn't even be visible on any of the people that I know. Um, Natural Collection Powder Blush in Peach Melba. I love this one. This is one I just feel like is always going to be in my collection because it's quite nostalgic for me, but it's also beautiful. We've got a couple of little NYX ones. We've got Crimson, which is a gorgeous bright pink. And then we've got Double Dare, which is a really great bright orange. These are really nice for drugstore kind of dupes of the Made by Mitchell ones. So I'm going to keep those. I was never obsessed with this one and everybody else was. It's Milani Luminoso. I think I'm going to pass that one on because, like I said, I just didn't love it as much as everybody else did. Um, Peach Party from Soap and Glory. Um, I don't ever use this one, so we're going to pass it on. I'm not going to do the whole, oh, I might use it thing, um, because I won't. L'Oreal Le Blush in Sandalwood Pink. I did get a lot of use out of this one. Let me swatch it. Hmm, that is pretty. Do you know what? I think she can stay because I don't actually have like a budget kind of pale of blush. So she can stay. Um, MUA blushed in Ginger. This is a beautiful, beautiful product. Absolutely keeping those. It's such a good budget option. Um, what have we got in here? Wet and Wild Apricot in the Middle. I'm going to get rid of that because it's just it's just not my vibe. We've got Sleep Life's a Peach. I don't even know how old these sleep blushes are. I can't even get them open. Um, so that's Sleep Life's a Peach. I think this is another sleep one. Um, feeling Like a Snack. I think we're going to get rid of feeling like a snack. We're going to keep Life's a Peach. And then if it's not still available, I'll get rid of it. Right. Um, Lang uh, not Lancome. Lime Crime Software Blush in Gigabyte BB. One of my favourites. I don't think you can get these anymore. And it is... Yeah, I think it's time to let that one go. She's she's dry. She's not, she's not living life. So we'll get rid of her. Um, Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in Gorgeous Berries. We're going to keep this one. It's one of my favourite kind of autumnal blushes. And this is the EX1 blush in Jet Set Glow. I think we're going to get rid of that one because it's very neutral. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that one. Very pretty, just not for me, so I'll pop it in the giveaway pile. Okay, it's going better going better um tower 28 happy hour um we're gonna keep this i know these don't last so long so i'm gonna try and get as much use out of this one as i can it's still like nice and like tacky um so i'm gonna try and get as much use out of that one as i can before it goes bad ofra do 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 chameleon blush Another one of my favourite kind of throw on. I've got too much makeup on to do anything exciting with my blush kind of shades. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores in Sweet Cheeks. Um, this is the only product I've ever liked from It Cosmetics. So I'm going to keep that. It's very pretty. I am going to pass along this one. This is another one of the Fenty Cream blushes. This is the shade Rose Latte. I thought this would be more rose, it's more brown. I think it would look beautiful on one of my very pale friends again. So we're gonna pop that one in the giveaway box. Um, Juvia's Place Afrique Blush um, in Serafina. That's what that one looks like. It's just a basic peach, but we're gonna keep that one. Um, and then we've got my two from Colourpop and Lizzie McGuire. This one is You Are Magnifico. Uh, yeah, Magnifico. Um, and then we've got Delish. Both of these are beautiful shades. I love them, so we're keeping those. This is Pat McGrath in Divine Rose 2. Um, these blushes are beautiful. I think Aphrodite 
think is its name is my favorite but this one is really gorgeous too so we're keeping that and we're also going to keep mac flirting with danger this is another one of the mineralized um blushes again very deep very wintry very beautiful okie dokie um makeup by mario soft pop blush stick and soft coral that's gonna stay um i did not like these the cheek juice serum blushes from ColourPop, and it's all separated and gross so that's going in the bin we're gonna keep iconic sheer blush these are beautiful i'm not one for a sheer blush very often but when i am this is what i reach for um, we've got another of the Duo duos. This one is Uplift Me and Amuse Me. So we're going to keep that as a side. I love those. And this one is beautiful. It's the Danessa No Dominique Cosmetics Cream Blush in Natural Rose. The only thing with this one is I don't really get a lot of use out of it these days. So I might pass that one on to a friend. It's a really beautiful shade. It's a blue, beautiful blush. I just don't get enough use out of it. I'm going to get rid of both of these. The Super Dewy Liquid Blushes from Revolution. Um, these have not got shades on them. Not helpful. Um, I like them. Again, I just don't use them. Oh, I've got another one there. Um, don't use this one either. So they can go in the giveaway pile couple of the NYX Sweet Cheeks blushes. These are beautiful. We've got Baby Doll and New Tude. I'm going to keep both of those. And this is the Cream Puff Blush from Max Factor in Seductive Pink. This is the most beautiful kind of taupey purple. I love that one. And I also really enjoy the Colour Glow Cream Blushes from Seventeen. This is Peach Dream, so we're going to keep this. Um, NARS Soft Matte Blush in Orgasm. These are incredibly underrated, so I'm going to keep that one. Um, and I am going to get rid of, I think, the um, Inglot and Mora Luminous Cream Blush in Luminous Rose because I've not even used that. So that can go to somebody else. Right. Um, Bare Minerals, Blonzer and Kiss of Rose, I get a lot of use out of this in the summer, it's a beautiful kind of brownie, terracotta -y kind of shade, so we're going to keep that, am I, am I going to keep this tiny Nars orgasm, mm, I'm going to keep it I think, and if I don't use it between now and next year please yell at me and tell me to throw it away, um, it's just too cute, I think. That's the issue. Um, I've got a kimchi blush in Cheeky and F1P. This is beautiful. So bright, so vibrant. Um, a gorgeous, gorgeous. If you love pink blushes, you need that one in your life. It's got incredibly dark outside, so I hope the lighting is still okay. We are pretty, pretty lit up in here. Um, I've got a little Charlotte Tilbury um, cream blush in Colour of Dreams. We're going to keep that one. Um, it's a gorgeous kind of brownie shade. I love that one. Ciate Glow Blush in Baby Doll. These are so underrated. So beautiful. So I'm keeping that. And I'm also going to keep Clinique Berry Pop. Which is probably way best. It's best. But we're keeping it anyway. <laughs> Okay, Peter Bay, Bloom, never really used that, gonna get past that one on. I'm gonna keep MAC Glow Play in Totally Synced. Um, this is like a lilac -y pink. It's the most interesting colour I've ever seen. Um, I really like it for those like cold girl makeup looks. I don't even know if you can see it under the light. Um, but we're gonna keep that and I love the texture of those Glow Play blushes. Okie dokie, an Aldi dupe of Nars Orgasm, um, I'm going to give that one, that one in the giveaway box, um, Clinique Peach Pop is going to stay, I'm torn with these two, these are Urban Decay blushes which I love the afterglow blushes, I've got Fetish 
and I've got indecent, but these are so old. To be fair, they still swatch really nicely, so I think they're going to make it another year. Right, a couple of B blushes in Roses are Red, and I like to move it. Again, I don't think you can get B anymore, so I'm going to pass those on. Florence by Mills, Stella Sabrina. I do not like this. Um, the packaging is just crap. It, it's just... This is basically children's makeup. Um... Revlon Rosy Rose, I'm going to keep, I'm going to give um, Rosie, Rosie Rendezvous away, I think. Yeah, it's just very light, not so exciting. I've got a load of the MUA blush because I really like these. So I've got um, Atomic Tangerine, Rouge Punch and Papaya Whip. I'm going to get rid of papaya whip i'm gonna keep the other two um rimmel maxi blushes we're gonna get rid of both of these i'm gonna get rid of these two blush queens from george which is like asda's makeup brand this is doll beauty dollar day absolutely keeping this one it's beautiful and we're gonna keep benefit Krista as well um, also keeping Benefit Georgia, Gold Rush, California and Rapporteur. I'm not sure which one of those you can still get, but they're very pretty, so I'm keeping them. Um, and I'm going to keep both my Mel blush lights. This is Honey Thief and this one is Sandy Cheeks. Um, gosh blushes, this is Passion and More. Um, I don't know whether you can still get gosh. If you can, I'm going to keep these. If you can't, I'm going to get rid of them. Elf. Um, these are the, like the primer infused blushes. I'm going to keep always cheery. Keep this one. And then we're going to get rid of always rosy. Just because it's just very neutral. Like a basic neutral kind of shade. Really quickly losing the light here. So I'm going to try and be as fast as I can. I'm also going to stand up because my knees are hurting. Um, Lottie Ombre Blush in Serene. That can be passed along. I'm going to keep L'Oreal Blush of Paradise in Melon Dollar Baby. We're going to keep Beauty Bay Cosmo because it's stunning. I'm going to keep the two Milani cream blushes I have. The, oh, the neutral one is Nude Kiss and the brighter coral one is Coral Crush. I'm going to keep both of those. And I'm going to keep my Made by Mario blush in Mellow Mauve. Elf Little Duo. This one is Watermelon. I'm going to pass that on. Also going to pass on this Body Collection blush in pink, which is definitely peach. Um, XXX, no, XX Revolution. This is the shade Crank. Can't even remember what this looks like, I'm not going to lie. Okay, that's a very dark berry. I think I'm going to keep that one. I've got the shade Risqué. Not for me, that's going to go. And I've got another Doll Beauty Dollar Day. That's concerning. That's going to go and be passed on. And then we've got some little bits in the back. I'm going to get rid of both of my Illamasqua blush duos. This one is Lover and Pussy, which is beautiful. And then we've got Beg and Bronzilla. Um, but I, these are probably 10 years old, so they're going in the bin. Um, Honest Beauty Plumberry Blush um, is a really pretty shade. I'm going to keep that one. I'm also going to keep Buoma um, Flawless in Real Life Blush in Boogie as fuck. Because this is so, it's like a, it's like a cream, it's like a powder. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like nothing I've ever used before. I'm going to have two NARS blush palettes. 
um, which I think I'm going to keep both of these, even though I probably shouldn't. They're probably years old, but we'll just go to them in the back. A little P. Louise had me blush in duo. This one is in the shade. It doesn't say. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one, I think. We've got like a pink and a peach. It's very pretty. So I think we're going to keep that. Because I have no self-restraint, we're keeping all of my P. Louise cheek picks because they're beautiful. Um, I'm going to keep all of my Charlotte Tilbury ones. So we've got matte ones, the uh, Pillow Talk, Pink Gasm, all that kind of stuff. We're going to keep all of those. I'm going to keep all my Made by Mitchell blushes, which are in this separate container because they don't fit in the drawer. We're going to keep NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush, even though it's a pain and it leaks everywhere. I love it. Um, and I'm going to keep Makeup by Tammy's Plush Blush as well. And along that same vein, I'm going to keep the Amelia Olivia Glow Milk Blush in Pink Pineapple, I think the shade is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's pink pineapple, it's beautiful. I'm going to keep both my two face. This is Watermelon Crush and Tequila Sunset. I love both these blushes. And we're going to keep my Dollar Day, um, Doll Beauty, sorry, Cream Melts. These are the three new ones, so After Doll Spritz, Malibu Barbie, and Takes Two to Mango. And then I also have the um, Beach Please shade as well. We're going to keep my other MAC Glow Play blush. This one is no shame. I use this one all the time. It's absolutely beautiful. These have got almost like a, a sheen to them. I don't know whether you can see that, but they're gorgeous. Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin in Bellini is staying. So is the new bright pink one, which I think is flush. Get rid of my other B um, liquid blush again because they're not available anymore. Um, we're going to get rid of Barry M Deep Rose. It's just a bit too neutral for what I like these days. And we're keeping Sweet One Liquid Blush in Peachy, Laura Mercier Promenade, and the Face Theory Blush in number two. Then I've also got a new one from Jacqueline Cosmetics in Plush Punch, because this is on offer in the Morphe store, and I've got Rare Beauty Grateful, which we're keeping as well, which is like a bright luminous red, with NARS Exhibit A on top, looks incredible. Here's my other cream melt and I do also have the matching powder blush to go with that one. Oh, if I could get it open. Um, so that is Beach Please. So we're going to keep that. And we're going to keep Barry and Fresh Face in Summer Rose. This Glossier paint in uh, Haze is years old so it's going in the bin. We're going to keep the Beauty Bay Liquid Blushes. These are the four original shades. So Peaches, Bloomin', Spring and Brief. These are really beautiful liquid blushes. Another random miscellaneous cheek of it. Um, Sassy Saffron from Glowish. We're going to keep because it's something a little bit different. Um, Ekinsu and Be Perfect in Turkish Delight. I've not tried this one yet but I'm so excited to. And then Hourglass Incandescent Electra um, which isn't so me these days but every now and again I do reach for it. Okay the final six um, we've got two from Give Me Glow. We've got the Purple Witch's Lilac Euphoria and then we've got the Bright Pink which is Pink Freak. So we're keeping both those. We're keeping Vive Cherub, it's just a pretty everyday pink. We're keeping Pat McGrath Aphrodite. No, this isn't Aphrodite, this is Venusian Sunrise. 
which means Aphrodite and Moore is somewhere, but that's purple and peach, so we're keeping that. Um, we're keeping sweet one. Oh, the name is rubbed off the back. Uh, the sweet one powder blush. And we're keeping the pink honey sheer skin in raspberry radiance. So we did not do as well. We definitely did not do as well as my foundation one. However, I love blush, so I'm not surprised. Um, we have still got an overflowing tub. Hang on, let's just put this away. An overflowing tub of things we're getting rid of. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I do hope you did enjoy this one. Um, so if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like to see more, hit subscribe. And if you want to make sure you never miss another video, hit the bell icon and YouTube will notify you every time I post. You've been fabulous. I've been Coral the Ball and I'll see you next time for another one. Bye.